Hi, this is part one of a series, and the story starts with the subject of sexual harassment and may be triggering for some viewers. Viewer discretion advised. God bless. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 KJV I'm about to go grocery shopping. And? And do you need me to pick you up anything special? You know what I like. Afraid I do, but you told me you would work on quitting drinking. You know I don't like it when you drink. I'm working on it, but it's hard. You know I have a problem with alcohol. Just get me a case of beer one more time, and I promise I'll stop afterwards. Please. You said that last time. This time I really promise I will. You will. I will. You really promise, like for real. Hun, I promise, for real. Well okay, we'll be back. I'm taking Demetria with me. I'm glad you took me with you this time. Why you say that honey? Well, because when dad invites his friends over, one of them. One of them what honey? Don't stop. One of them likes touching me inappropriately and I have to fight him off every single time. What? Why haven't you told us about this sooner? Every time I tried telling dad he's always passed out on the couch and you're at work at night. It don't help when you work at night, so about the time you guys are available to talk about it, I just let it go. Well that's all about to change today. No mom, if you say something. Then both you and dad will be working daytime to be with me at night but I don't want to be in the house in the daytime alone, after. After what Demetria? After little Sherman died. In broad daylight mom, I don't want to be at home by myself. I see, and I understand. Well, we'll explore our scheduled options, your father and I, okay. I don't think he's gonna wanna change his day job, so maybe I'll work from home in the daytime. But when we get back home you tell me which one of his friends touches you inappropriately, you hear me? Yes ma'am. I see one of his friends is here. It better not be him. Put the groceries away while I go speak to your father. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you was here. Well now you know, and don't you look pretty today. Don't touch me or I'll tell my dad. You mean you're drunk of a dad who's always passed out? That's laughable. Don't fight it honey. Just let me have my way with you and I promise you'll like it. Mom, dad help. Shut up. You don't want to mess with me I'm warning you. That's a good girl. And that's what she told me. That's why she's been cutting her hair again. And wait. It sounds like she's hollering for help. If your friend is touching her. Let's not jump to conclusions. If he's touching her I'm calling the cops. You pervert. Step away from my baby. What gives man? I trusted you. Just for that, you're fired. Or did you forget you work for my brother you drunk? You don't have the power to fire anyone and how dare you put your filthy hands on my 17 year old daughter you disgusting pervert. It's your fault I pushed you. But she's 17. So. So she's fair game. She's legit. We are no longer friends, so when the cops arrest you and book you, don't you dare try apologizing later on. Keep your sorry apologies you filthy human. This isn't over. I'm glad you and dad came when you did. It's okay sweetie. It's all over now. He's no longer welcomed here. I told the cops everything. I'm so sorry girls. If I wasn't drinking so much I would have realized what was going on. Baby girl can you forgive me? I'm really sorry. I don't know if I can forgive you dad. You've been promising as you would stop drinking but nothing's changed. And I had to endure your ex-friend touching me for 3 months when you invite him over on your days off at night. He knew you were too drunk to notice or do anything about it. I was humiliated by him. And mom works at night so she was of no help either. So I don't know if I can forgive you, but I'm going to my room. She's right. I gotta stop drinking, but it's so hard. Honey, I need help. I think it's time to check yourself into an alcoholic rehab program. 
I think you're right. But what about you? How will you handle working alone for a while? I don't know but I think we'll manage for a couple of months. I may consider working from home. Bay, I apologize for asking you to get me more beers when I knew I shouldn't have been drinking. I'll throw them all away, even the ones you bought today. You will. That's a step in the right direction, babe, I'm so proud of you. And don't worry, she'll forgive you. I'll go talk to her. Thanks, baby. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Do you forgive me? I do, but Demetrius, you gotta change, for us. And I'll be here with you along the way. You're an amazing and beautiful woman. Thanks for being by my side. Of course, Bay. of course. Sweetie, are you okay? I'll be fine. I'm always here for you if you wanna talk. Let me ask you something. Where exactly did he touch you? He grabbed my chest slapped my backside and he tried rubbing me down there. Oh honey, I'm so sorry you had to endure that. Is there more? Yes. He'd even sniff my hair. Not to mention he tries kissing me like today but I always push him away. Mom I was so humiliated and scared he would try doing more since he knew dad wasn't in his right mind to protect me. He won't get away with this and you can believe that. I knew something was off by just looking at him, but he always seemed so nice. What a phony. We will get you all the justice you deserve, don't worry. Next day. I'd like to have a word with you. What's up? Is it true? Is what true? Is it true you falsely accused my brother of raping your daughter? I did not falsely accuse him of rape, but I saw him touching her inappropriately in my kitchen. So you are accusing him of doing something to her? I know what I saw, me and my wife. My daughter complained to my wife this has been going on for three months. And you don't find it suspicious that she's just now saying something? Or were you too drunk to notice? You even come late to work with alcohol on your breath, so how can I take what you say serious? You could have saw your carpet dancing for all you know, since you're always drunk. I admit I drink a lot and I'm sometimes late for work, which I apologize for, but I don't apologize for standing up for my baby girl. I'm not always drunk and I know what I saw and I know she's telling the truth. He was my friend, or so I thought and I trusted him around us. Why don't you do something about your brother before he catches a case? Why are you protecting a pervert when many girls' lives are at stake being around him? Why not do the right thing, even if you're brothers? Oh so you're calling my brother a pervert? Yes, I know what I saw. With what? Your eyes. Your bloodshot eyes. That's my daughter. That's my brother. So you're not gonna do anything about it? Oh I'm gonna do something about it alright. Thanks man. That's all we wanted, some justice. Don't thank me too soon. You're fired. I can't have my brother's reputation tarnished for something you say he did without evidence and your eyes don't count. Plus you're almost always late to work but I let you keep your job because you were friends with my brother and you should have been thanking him not accusing him. Both me and my wife saw him. And? You know what? I don't want to work for a crook like you anyway. I quit. And your brother will do time, mark my words. When he starts touching your daughter or son, have this same energy. My children love him. Have a nice day. Ah. Honey what's wrong? My stupid boss fired me. What why? Ah. Please calm down and tell me why he fired you. Because he's protecting his pervert of a brother. They lied on me saying I said he raped Demetria but I said I saw him molesting her, touching her inappropriately in my kitchen but he didn't want to listen. He's bent on protecting that pervert. Now I lost my job. And then he said, if you fall for me, I will catch you. Ha 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 ha. So you like him? I'm not sure because I only see him at church. His folks live on the other side of town. And what's wrong with you? Don't you have someone who likes you too? Story of my life. Just some old pervert. Nothing special there. Yeah that's not good, I think I'll hook you up with a friend at church, if your parents would ever bring you. Yeah, maybe. Well later bestie. Bye bestie, I'll text you later. Bye Oscar. Hi princess. Yes I'm home early today. But why dad? Did that pervert's brother fire you? Yeah, 
Yeah that's why but don't worry. I'll get something else real soon. Daddy I think you should get help while I look for a job to help out. And where's mom? Did she leave for work already? She did, and what kind of work could you get that will help pay all these bills? I don't know but, something. That's very courageous of you. And I forgive you for being passed out while your friend touched me, just please don't let it happen again. Thanks baby girl, I'm glad you forgive me. Now I feel so much better and believe me, that's never happening again. I'm not done fighting for your justice, and, getting you someone to talk to. I love you dad. I love you too princess. Now to see what kind of jobs are available, that pays good enough while daddy is jobless, getting himself together. Nope, nope, nope. Hem. This one looks interesting. Billionaire needs help around mansion. Two is fired, looking to hire two more qualified candidates. Says it pays. $5,000 a week plus great benefits. Oh god I hope this isn't a scam because it sounds too good to be true. But I'll take my chances now where do I sign up? End of part 1, part 2 up next. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video and turn on your bell notification so you never miss a video. If you want a birthday, belated birthday or an upcoming birthday shout out while you wait for part 2, let me know in the comments, god bless.